Today I'm going to be talking about quite a sensitive subject, which is Tanya Kellogg. So I'm sure many of you Instagram and Snapchat users will know exactly what I'm talking about. So recently today, a video has circulated the web of a girl supposedly called Tanya Kellogg doing something highly inappropriate to her brother. So Tanya is supposedly 12 and her brother is 6. So for the most part of today, which is Sunday the 3rd of December, there have been multiple users on Instagram named something along the lines of Tanya Kellogg. They've been uploading stuff saying I want to die and also a video of Tanya doing something very inappropriate. Tanya's received a lot of allegations calling her a rapist due to the fact that as Tanya was doing something to her brother, during the middle part of it, her brother said stop and she didn't. A lot of people have been criticised for defending her and saying that she didn't know what she was doing, but the majority of the people thought she knew exactly what she was doing and the consequences. After many reports, Instagram then deleted the video, but a few minutes later the video was re-uploaded and this happened around 10 times during the day. It got deleted and re-uploaded on multiple accounts. And currently, any Instagram users who make an account remotely associated with the name Tanya Kellogg, they will gain approximately anywhere from 500 to 10,000 followers. And the main reason I created this video is for the main question of, did she do it out her own free will? During the first part of today, many people were leaving hate comments believing that she did it out of her own free will and that she was a rapist. But as we're nearing the end of the day, a Facebook post has begun to surface. <laughs> But in this post, I won't read it all out to you, but it basically mentions how there's an extremely disturbing post that's circulating on the internet and Instagram and Snapchat. It says how it contained distressing and sickening child abuse and that the police is fully aware of it and the Hampstead police have a full-blown investigation going. And then it mentions that this post is from a paedophile, not the young girl in it. Both children are the victims, not the perpetrators. So to all those comments telling her to kill yourself, I can't guarantee that this post is true, but it says it received its information from the police, but you can't trust that much stuff coming from the internet these days. So decide whether or not you want to believe this. It's very early stages right now. But all I'm going to conclude at this stage is that the children in the video are not rapists or perpetrators. They are a victim of a very sickening child abuse crime. Write down in the comment section below what you think of this. But without further ado, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.